In recent years, storage has become a very critical component of uh, any network. Well, storage has always really been important, but now we're dealing with more storage and managing more storage than ever before. What we're having to do is we're having to break up a large storage device. So let's see that this is a storage device. Storage. Um, let's see that. Oh, man, it's just. So this is going to be a large storage device. Let's say that this is a SAN that contains, let's say, 12 terabytes of storage. Well, you're not simply going to present these 12 terabytes over to a Linux server. That's not something that's going to happen. You actually have to split things up into smaller pieces. Your SAN device allows you to break things out into LUNs. LUNs are logical unit numbers. And each LUN represents a portion of a disk. Maybe this is two terabytes, maybe this is one terabyte, maybe this is four terabytes. And these LUNs are then essentially presented to a Linux host. Okay, these LUNs are presented to a Linux host. Now here's another thing though. When a SAN device presents a LUN to a Linux host, the Linux host can then further break up that LUN into smaller pieces. Because to Linux, to Linux, this LUN is a physical drive. It doesn't know that it is logical. So let's say that this is a four terabyte LUN. When it comes into Linux, I can break it up into, I can break it up into like one terabyte, 500 gig, you know, two terabyte, whatever the case is. I can break it up into smaller pieces. Or I can break it up in any piece I want. And I can assign different uh, storage, I can assign different volume labels. I can say that this is my data volume. I can say that this is my OS volume, and I can say that this right here is my swap space. I can do that even though behind the scenes, uh, even though behind the scenes, this is really pointing at the same LUN. So I actually have to end up managing how things look and how things appear. So inside of a SAN, I'm going to give you the example of a SAN again. Inside of a SAN device, this is a storage area network, if I have a LUN, let's say I'm going to do LUN 1, I have a LUN, and these LUNs are presented, maybe they're presented to the same exact Linux box, okay? And in this Linux box, I can designate that this LUN is going to be used for the purposes of data. This LUN is going to be used for the purposes of swap space. And this LUN is going to be used for the purposes of operating system and applications. And maybe inside of Linux, I set it up so that I don't care about this LUN. I don't care about this LUN, but this data LUN is the one that I'm mostly concerned about backing up. Right? I back up this LUN so that in the event that there's a problem, I can always restore the operating system and the applications. I can restore the swap space. Uh, but the data, I, can, I need to have data available to me. I don't need swap space to be available when I'm bringing my system back. So the storage management is becoming more and more complicated. I didn't even list or outline, uh, but you can imagine storage that is taking place and data that is being stored all over the globe. Maybe your organization is in one state and maybe its central storage is located somewhere else, or maybe there are multiple storage devices that are replicating between each other that have to be on a high-speed bandwidth, whatever the case may be. This whole battle with storage management is becoming more and more aggressive, and as time progresses, we're gonna be just demanding more storage. As you know, storage and the demand on storage have increased, I don't know how many fold over the last decade, and they're gonna go up quite a bit more as time progresses.